Hi there, my name's Ian Bag, and I am fantastic, and you're listening and watching The Ego's Last Stand. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing. And welcome back to another episode of The Ego's The Last Stand. I'm Josh Sarm, your host, and this is The Quarantine Chronicles. That's right, and we're back here discussing things, talking things with a good friend of mine. Matter of fact, this guy is the comic that first gave me a paid gig. Uh, so he's got a special place in my heart always. So welcome to the show, Rob Wolfong. How you doing, bud? I'm good. I'm good. I'm not, I'm not quarantining. I'm being boutique. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, we all have to do our own thing, you know. <laughs> you, uh, you, you managing okay over there? I'm doing okay. Um, I, uh, I was practicing my emoji faces earlier, and I forgot where I put my nose. <laughs> you were practicing your emoji faces? Yeah, it, it was in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Before I left it. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta. Have you ever seen that movie, the Emoji Movie? No. Uh -uh. Yeah, I haven't seen the Lego Movie either. I don't know. Do you have kids? I, I have a two-year-old. Oh, I'm barely a successful pet owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she's too funny. Last night, uh, I had an earlier show with Dusty Slay, and of course, I just get the show going, and she's in the living room screaming her head off. She's having fun. But it, it's, it's the first thing out of Dusty's mouth is, uh, do, do you have kids over there or do I have kids over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never had kids. I don't think so. No one's knocked on my door and told me I ruined their lives. No. I good. I got cats. You got cats? I do. I have two cats. Ah, I got two cats. <laughs> yeah. Do you want them? Because I can't stand them. Really? Yeah. I, 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 I think I'm good. <laughs> I, I hey, hey. I got Twizzlers. You got what? I got Twizzlers. You want some? Yeah, send me some over. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, so while Rob's uh, running those into Kentucky, uh, text me your address. <laughs> you're, you're up in Ohio, right? Uh, no, I'm on the uh, I'm on the good side of the dumbass line. I'm I'm from Covington, Kentucky. Oh, okay, okay. I thought for some reason I thought you were in Ohio. Now, I can see him from the house, though. I'm sure. I'm sure that's like yeah. right up there, yeah. down by the river. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you, you have any, uh, any fun stories from this uh, quarantine thing so far? Um, well, I, my wife needed toothpicks, and and I went to Scary Kroger. <laughs> so there I was with my hair in my eyes and holding my breath in Scary Kroger and. And I don't know where they keep the toothpicks. And I didn't want to ask because it was scary. Curve. By the way, if you're ever in that predicament, they're, they're by the paper plate. Now, now, why do you call it scary Kroger? It's scary. Oh, <laughs> they have armed guards in there. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, it's Kroger. Because it's Kroger. <laughs> Yeah, probably because of the meth heads. I don't know. I don't know. Is it that bad over there? Um, yeah, they need they need people to watch around there. It's it's pretty it's pretty bad neighborhood. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. They do the best they can job. Yeah. Do you guys have a Walmart? Yeah, we have a Walmart. I bet that's really scary though. Yeah, but what I don't understand, well, my bank's actually in Walmart. If you can believe that, so I have to go to Walmart when I go to the bank, and, uh, and there's one thing I don't understand: they have an eye care center, but it's Walmart. Shouldn't they have a dental office? <laughs> but they don't. Speaking of your uh, your sense of humor, which uh, a lot of people, you know, if, if if they don't know, if they haven't seen your set stand up, and they don't understand what your set is about, uh, do you do you happen to have a clip of? Uh... Yeah, let me see if I can work this on here real quick. Yeah, because uh, I, I I really would love people to see what your sense of humor is on stage because it's quite unique. It, it, I've always enjoyed it. Okay, hold on. He's he's doing technology things. And I suppose on this setup, uh, you have to uh, go to it and then you have to like somehow share it. Yes. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. 
something like that. But uh, I've been making little uh, videos all day long, throwing them up on uh, TikTok because I was talking with uh, Dusty Slay, and Dusty said that uh, he's, his social media is blown out of proportion. Just kidding. He's putting all old bits that he doesn't even do anymore. So I started doing the same thing. <laughs> That's crazy. Good. Good. I, uh, to get it to work. Why this thing working? Try licking it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. I don't know what just happened. Oh, there you go. There you go. Is that it? Can you see it? No, I can't see it. <laughs> uh, okay. You want to come up with? I mean, I see your desktop now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, then how come it won't play off of that? I don't know. Well, let's get rid of that and just act like we didn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm back. Hey, hey, do you have a Gordon Food Service? A Gordon food service? Yeah. No. Yeah, a store. They have the best gummies. <laughs> You've never had gummies. I just have to do this. I'm sorry. I'm compelled. <laughs> um, they have the best gummies ever made, and they come in buckets. And this is Gordon? And we're Gordon we're food service. Gordon in. Right, except no imitation. <laughs> <laughs> no animals were harmed in the making of these gummies. <laughs> what? What state were those gummies made in? Um, oh shit. China? <laughs> I don't Maybe know. Maybe those were gummies from like Colorado or something. I don't know, because then I'd have to find my glasses. <laughs> Old age comes up on you. You don't get the pick where it happens. It sure does. And it's a bitch. This is crazy. I, uh, I never take my coffee mugs upstairs, so I don't know which one has any in it. <laughs> You don't take your coffee mugs upstairs, but you don't know which one of them has coffee. No, because I'm losing it, Josh. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking if I knew what it was, I'd probably be a little more careful. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I've known you a little while now. I don't think so. <laughs> How have you been? You've been holding up? Yeah, man. I mean, this is good to see. Good to see you doing so. You know what I've done since since this started? No. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I've been sleeping a lot. Hey, do I have eye boogers? I can't tell, man. <laughs> that wasn't any, that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is like when all the girls in the second grade got cooties and we couldn't get enough spray for everybody. <laughs> Ruined a lot of lives after puberty. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen you. We were supposed to do the Twisted Cork, and, and we didn't do it. Yeah, and they canceled uh, all Twisted Cork shows. Wasn't that fabulous? Yeah, I can't have anything nice. No, no. And, uh, you know, after after performing there for three and a half years, running shows there for free, uh, yeah, that's what I get, a text message. A text message. <laughs> Was it Prentice or, or, or Mama's? It was Prentice. It was Prentice, okay. Now I understand. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I never made any money doing that show. I did that because I love the cork, but uh, nobody really made any money doing that because I love the cork. I remember the first time that that we did a show at the cork. I went and I, I got uh, I called up Ray Price. You remember Ray? I do. And. Uh, and we pulled up and all we saw was a liquor store. And, and so I apologized to him before we went in there, but it's a very cool place. We didn't know it from the outside. It was a drive through liquor store. Right. Right. And it dinged while you were telling jokes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or you had drunk, drunk, good drunk, one either. You had drunk apprentice or drunk mama Sue screaming and yelling in the background because they had no volume control over their voices, which you got to <laughs> love them for it. 
or Mama Sue would interrupt your set to give you a commentary on what she thought of it. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we went through all that. We went through all that. I found out I'm above average. Thank you. <laughs> right, right. You know, I mean, if you could survive a cork show, man, you, there wasn't anything that should have been a, you were afraid of, you know. Oh, I like that though. That was that was pretty neat. But I remember the first time we pulled up there, and all I saw was a liquor store. I'm thinking, oh, so I I apologize to Ray. <laughs> He's taken me to a couple himself, but it turned out really cool. Turned out really cool. Yep, and uh, we we've done a couple of those lodges years. That was a lot. Yeah. That's about well, that's kind of been my mainstay um yeah i like doing those i like doing those it's yeah. people that don't that, you know the people that don't go to the comedy clubs and you can't i can't tell you how many times that uh you say i've never been to a comedy show before that was fun right and uh it's, sometimes you're pounding it out sometimes they're so liquored up they can't really you know what i mean yeah behave themselves so that's always a lot of fun you've been to a couple of things oh yeah you got me to a couple of them. I yeah. think, uh, a Moose Lodge and an Eagle Lodge. A Moose Lodge and an Eagle Lodge. And you were at the Georgetown American Legion when we had uh, Ryan e. Miller. E. Miller. Ryan Neat Miller was there. They didn't know to make a Ryan. Ryan's a cut up. And uh, now I see what happened. America's, got, now was, now was, America's got talent. And uh, it had that, been, that guy's a warrior, though, man. Yeah. That guy's a warrior. If, if you want to do comedy, be a warrior. And, and when good things happen to warriors, that's exactly what's supposed to happen to good people. Absolutely. Comedy. Absolutely. I can't imagine what he's been through. And you know, it bothered me. I mean, what just happened? Everybody got cut off all of a sudden. It was like, um, I don't know if you went through an identity crisis, but I'm still going through it. <laughs> you know, I used to do nothing really well. Yeah. But I don't, uh, yeah, I'm not good at it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do I have eye boogers? <laughs> you told me there'd be donuts. <laughs> How's the wife doing? She doing all right? Emmy's doing great. Emmy's doing great. We just came back from the mountains. We took a couple of days. They didn't. Uh, they didn't shut down the cabins. And when we found out that we just uh, got back, um, spent about spent about three days in Slade by Red River Gorge. Cool. It pretty, yeah, it was cool. Just uh, spent about three days uh, sitting in a hot tub. It's a beautiful thing. That's it's definitely, a, I, I can think of way worse things to do. So, I mean, yeah, that's uh, that sounds awesome. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, you're, what all did you lose off of this? What's that? What, what all did you lose off of this? You have a good uh, good roll going? Um, I lost, right off the bat, I lost seven weeks of work. And, and uh, I just... Two days ago, I lost two more weeks, and I'm waiting on the call about June dates. So, <laughs> all, right. all my shit's getting canceled. Here's here's the screwed up part. As long as I've been doing this, it's been like the show is on until something stupid happens. Right. Now everything's canceled until something stupid happens. Right. Not the way to work. Um, I had a great uh, I had a great April. Um, I don't have a camera, guys, so I can rub my eye. Um, <laughs> that sneezed on me freaked me the fuck out <laughs> I still won't go upstairs um, but anyway I had a great uh, March, April, May together and, it, and, and I had some momentum going and all of a sudden this happened um, but we'll be back we'll be back um, yeah we'll be back and yeah, you know, uh, Greg Morton brought up a great point uh, yesterday, he said that, uh, you know, because I've been concerned about, you know, comedy clubs are going to be the last things to be open because, you know, it's entertainment. It's not considered necessary. But he brought up a great point, though. When they actually do open, we'll probably see huge crowds because everybody's got to be sick and tired of being at home and watching shit on TV. Well, it's nice to see the, new, the news, uh, some of the news stations promoting comedy and having comedians on. That's, that's yeah. one of the, that helps. Um, but we're going to lean into summer. So, and people will want to be out and about, and comedy is a bit of an indoor sport. Yeah. Um, hopefully pick up some stuff through the summer. I don't know. I, I, what I know is that, uh, that if you break a winning streak, you just start a new one, right? That's all you can do. <laughs> 
I didn't see this coming. I had no no intention of coming up for air. I just right. did. But, uh, but here we are. Here we are. No, I'm, I'm I have all these things done around the house. I haven't done shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my identity crisis. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, you expect that of me anyway, right? <laughs> So you haven't you haven't come up with anything to do anything during this whole uh, quarantine thing aside from going to the cabin, huh? Um, no, not really. Haven't worked for any. You know what I mean? Um, I had my uh, appointment canceled at Mainstream Urology. <laughs> <laughs> I know that if they make flavored crayons, I'm not going to eat the brown one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You can see Rob said the humor here. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I saw a sex toy on a scratching dent table. <laughs> it was a ding dong. <laughs> you know all I know how to do is tell jokes, right? I know. It's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cinnamon, that's my right. <laughs> I told you about the gummy bear. Yeah, you did. And this is the cup that has the coffee in it. So that's pretty cool. That don't happen. That's, that's pretty convenient. Because it's the one you've been drinking out of, so. <laughs> yes. 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 I would have a cigarette, but uh, I'm not allowed to smoke indoors. No? No. Nah. No. Nah. You're not allowed to smoke anything indoors? <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid I'm going to lose my head? <laughs> now I have to go out, go out and smoke outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so during, I don't know why that wasn't negotiable. During the quarantine of 2020, Josh and Rob Wilfong get on a, a Zoom interview together, and we're talking about where Rob can smoke. <laughs> That's right. Um, and needfully so. <laughs> <laughs> so you said you got two cats i have two cats um they're brothers and they just hang out together all the time they keep each other company so it wasn't so uh wasn't so difficult to run up into the mountains for a couple of days because they have each other it's pretty cool pretty cool bart and pelly they're totally black so it's tough to take pictures of them because you can't find them with their eyes open Oh, check that out. Does it talk? Okay, so this is Murray. Uh, he doesn't shut up. As you heard him starting to squawk while we were sitting around this. Normally he goes to bed, but he's a turd nugget, so I figured I'd show you. Yeah, that's, that's my big guy. He's a nugget. Yeah, I know. I know. Look how, look how his head is and the way his eyes are. Do you think he can look at one thing at a time? I think he has 360 degree vision and you can see his butt and you at the same time. <laughs> oh, don't make me Google. <laughs> yeah, he can see. Pretty awesome, man. What does he say? What did you teach him to say? And how long did it take you to teach? Um, he, he says a variety of things. Like he tells you when he's hungry, so he'll say cracker. When he's hungry, when he's thirsty, he'll say water. Um, he can count both verbally and he'll tap it out. Um, yeah. Oh, we can count? Oh, yeah, he'll say. He can tell you how many treats he wants. <laughs> yeah, he'll just keep squawking until you give him something. Um, he will, he says, come here. He says, what do you want? Uh, he says a variety of things. Um, Did you fly around? No, I, I clipped I clip his wings. I don't want him smashing into the window. Oh, you got him clipped? Yeah, I, cl I clip his wings every. I clip the cats. Huh? I clip the cats. <laughs> <laughs> Not personally, I had it done. <laughs> no, I personally do it. There's not a lot of avian. I'm still healing. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's got a big patch missing. Ah, well, a little deodorant wouldn't be bad there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's sure. That's why he's he's not afraid to lift his hand. What's his name? Murray. Murray. Yeah, you see that, Murray? You see if you can get him to count, right? Go one. One. There it is. Two. You say two. Three. There's two. There's two, three, three. Oh, you got the two again. <laughs> That's a good boy. All right. 
Rob, talk for a second, so it goes to you so I can put him in his cage. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My door is ajar. <laughs> I tell you the worst thing that happened while we were quarantined. Uh, my my hot water heater broke, so I was like naked and afraid. Oh, you're kidding me! Your hot water heater broke. Yeah, and well, you never find out at a good time. That's a really shitty time for uh, for the hot water heater to break, huh? I was naked and afraid. <laughs> you were naked and afraid. <laughs> So did uh, they come out and replace it? Were you, did they, you make them mask up? Yeah, we took care of it. We took care of it. It costs quite a bit of money, though. Always does, man. Always does. Always right right does. when you got a time when you really can't afford things to happen. Well, your house is just a warehouse for your unfinished products or, or projects anyway. So. Yeah, it's, it, it is a it's just like it. It's it ain't worth it. Absolutely. So what are you drinking, then? I am drinking some wine. Uh, really? I have taken care of my daughter all day long. and I'm, not, I'm just not picturing you as a wine guy. You're more of a Budweiser. No, I, 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 <laughs> I, uh, Budweiser's gross. Um, no, if I'm going to drink beer, I, I'm a Coors Light guy if I drink beer. You miss your bowling league? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, bourbon, I love bourbon, uh, vodka wine i don't give a shit i just drink that's pretty cool yeah, my liver I, I had to quit i uh i you know i went to the doctor and and they they did all that they had to do enzyme tests on me because i was having heart issues and uh they they got my results back from my liver and my kidneys and everything is like perfect and i'm like how <laughs> okay. Yeah, that ain't how I work. <laughs> sure. I saw uh, sober 1998. And have, have been sober ever since, huh? Court ordered. Court ordered. <laughs> Turns out they were right. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the story that made you go, all right, I got to stop doing this? Uh, police. Um, I'm doing drugs, too. Um, anything I get my hands on for a while. Um, yeah, they pulled me over. One night in the Cincinnati Justice Center changed my mind about a whole lot of shit. Oh, I bet. I bet. Not too big of a wuss to be going to jail. Right. I can't imagine what prison was like. Jail stuff. Well, I can tell you, having a, worked as a correction officer for a long time, I can tell you that it's it's no place to be. I, mean, I can't imagine. I can't, huh? I, can't, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you. You got cats. Why the hell do they go in the window and start doing that noise? Why do they do that? Because they see birds and they can't get to them. But why? <laughs> do they noise, what is that noise? I mean, the, the bird can't hear the noise. No, he can't. He can't. And is they don't talk to each other. Noise? What is it? I have a squirrel that jumps up in the windowsill, and the cats don't do that with him. They just they all sit there and look at each other while the nerf, while the squirrel eats a nut from the front yard. Oh well, they're probably friends. I'm thinking they have some way of communicating. They got to, right? You know what I mean? They got to. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you ever have dogs or just cats? Um, when I was a kid, we used to have a dog. But the thing about it is uh, Melissa does a lot of uh, work with uh, with Make-A-Wish Foundation. Oh, cool. She's got uh, dinner with the ladies. She's, she's just a good friend. And, uh, and basically with me running around, until lately, <laughs> sorry, I had a moment. But with me running around, we get you can't leave a dog at the house, you know, for days. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't do it because yeah, they, pee, like, they pee and poop like, all over the place, and then it hurts their feelings, and they're all upset. You know? I, I, I just, yeah, I think it would be it's better to have cats. They take care of themselves. I assume when you say you're running around, you mean doing comedy. Yeah. So when you take your bird for a walk, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> like flying a kite that poops on you. <laughs> you know, I've had him for 16 years now, and uh, he turned 17 in June. That's insane. I don't know if he's going to make it. <laughs> What's their life expectancy? 75 years. What? 75 years. Is that in bird years? No, that's in. Is that where the math comes from? 
They live a long ass time. So basically your kids are gonna inherit that bird. Yes. Yes. Wow. And maybe sooner than later. <laughs> I don't think that thing can count to 75. He, he like, he's really cool when he wants to be really cool, but he's going through his teenage years, so he's being such a jerk. Like, and, you know, he'll try you. They have something called a macaw bluff where he'll actually, like, jerk at you. And if you, if you jump, oh, he's got you. He's got you. Yeah, he's just going to keep doing it and keep being a jerk to you. Uh, me, I'm not afraid of him at all. He's dislocated his finger. He has bitten the crap out of me numerous times, drawn blood on me a bunch of times. I don't care. He's not. He doesn't get away with squat away from me. My bet says that we have a prison bitch relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't take any shit. But I'll, on the other hand, my wife, he intimidates all the time. Um, loves my wife, but he wants my wife's attention. Yeah. Have you sought counseling? No, no. The only counseling he gets is wall-to-wall -wall counseling as I kick him into it. <laughs> think he wants to talk about it? <laughs> he probably does. He's How do you think that makes him feel? He, he's a funny bird. I'll, I'll tell you a story about Murray. Um, anybody that ever says that a bird doesn't understand what the hell's going on, they're full of shit. This bird, we, we were down in Florida, and uh, <laughs> dude, this is why I hate cats. There's one puking right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, back to my story. Uh, can you hear that? <laughs> Jesus. Um, so we're done. He's on my face. What's that? <laughs> He's on my face on your uh, computer and lost it. But I don't let the cats around me. Uh, I wouldn't hang out with me. I just have to. <laughs> so we're in Florida. Can I tell the story without you yakking over there? Good God. <laughs> Um, and Murray's in the kitchen. He's on his perch in the kitchen. And uh, one of the dogs, we had, we had these two little dogs. They were little chihuahuas. And uh, one of them, this black chihuahua, his name was Pablo. And the, the dog had tunnel vision. Like whenever he was doing something, he would focus only on that. Couldn't focus on, like he's oblivious to the rest of the world. Well, Murray knew that. So the dog's eating and Murray slides down his perch, starts what appeared to be creeping across the floor, like <laughs> quietly. He gets right behind Pablo, puts his beak right next to his butt, and goes, Murray! Really? <laughs> the dog jumps like three feet up in the air and takes off across the room, stops, whips around like, what the hell was that? That's Murray great. laughs, first off, goes, <laughs> grabs a piece of his food, goes back to his perch, climbs back up to the perch, holds the food up so Pablo can see it, and goes, mmm. And then starts eating. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'd be great if you had that on tape. Oh well, who the hell knew it was going to happen? I know that would have got you some money on America's Funny. Oh God, he and he he uh he he would figure with me around. He would swear. He he only has ever, as far as I know, my wife knows. He's only swore one time. He was on his perch and he loves pizza rolls, and he had a pizza roll in his bowl, and he had a a a, a water bottle in his hand. All right, so he grabbed the pizza roll with his mouth, and you know he's trying to figure out how he can manipulate the pizza roll with the water ball in his hand, and he's trying to maneuver things around. And he drops the pizza roll. Well, he looks down at it, and it's on the ground. And he goes, "Shit!" <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> it's the only time he's ever swore. He'd be a TikTok star. Mm. Absolutely. I got a lot of friends that are doing TikTok. Yeah, I, I, as a matter of fact, uh, let me see. I got a lot of people that sent me friend requests so they could send me their TikToks. Oh, really? Yeah, I got a lot of imaginary friends. I'm a little too old to have imaginary friends. I got a shitload of them. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to like this. <laughs> At a time when nobody's working. <laughs> okay, um, I have a, a magician that wants me to to book him a magician yeah yeah he does sword swallowing and that's just where i draw the line because i'd have to get a lawyer and have a waiver and make case something goes wrong what the hell he's a fire eater too and he's oh really stuff. so now i gotta have everybody in the room sign a waiver i don't know I just found this an odd time to ask to be booked. 
<laughs> no, I agree with you. Not like I'm not salty or anything. Shit. <laughs> right. Can I do something for you? No. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna come back though, man. I think it's gonna come back hard. Um just be yeah, ready. So too. Just be ready. I just but but I would say, I mean, from my standpoint, um get a couple during summer and I think September is when you're gonna be starting to bang. And I would imagine if they open the comedy clubs up, that uh, you might say the first couple of weeks, you might have a slow, you know, a slow go, but uh, I think it'll blow up big. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm really hoping that it goes from, from, uh, you know, the, the, the whatever crowds you have that like the, you know, like you go to these D and C rooms and you got, you know, mediocre crowds where the place is like, you know, 50%, 75% full, but just where it's brimming over. Because everybody's so sick and tired of seeing shit on TV, they actually want to go out and li- watch it live. I, I'm really hoping Greg's vision of that comes true because that, that'd just be awesome for all of us. People should see live shows. Um, there is uh, there there's an immense difference between watching comedy on on TV or or wherever you watch it and uh, and a live show. Oh, 100 percent. Could be a part of it. And it's not that I'm any better in 3D. I know, um, but uh, but it just it, it's just a total. You know, you don't get the feel of the room. To be honest with you, the fun of doing comedy is just the feel of the room. Yeah, um, going up there and bringing them into your world and playing with them. Right. Uh, no, absolutely. And uh, I don't know. I just I just think I think it's totally different. I think it's totally different. Yeah, and people people don't get that until they actually go out to a show and see it. And then they're like. Oh, now I'm hooked. And it's so funny how many people I've seen come through comedy on Broadway saying, this was our first time seeing live comedy. We're definitely coming back. You know, and it, 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 half the time it's, you know, they're coming to see somebody mediocre anyway. It's like, you should come see the guys that are like superstars if you think that was good. Right, us no names are just setting them up for the superstar. <laughs> <laughs> they're knocking them down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be the funniest guy nobody's ever heard of. You know what, though? I'd be cool with that. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're working on no more no less you know I, I i don't care if i ever become famous or anything like that but i certainly would love to be able to be to the point where people know i'm coming so let's get in the seat you know and that's that's how yeah, you yeah. yeah and there's line and you do this and people do come to see you and it's it's pretty cool and not just my mom right <laughs> but my mom's never seen my ex she's pentecostal yeah 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 my mom saw my act for the first time in January. We were, uh, I had to go down. To were you filthy? What's that? Were you filthy? I never am, man. I've never been a, a dirty <laughs> You know that. I, uh, I'm sorry. It amused me to ask. Thank okay. <laughs> you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> I'm going to try the veal. I had to go down to Florida. I was featuring, I was featuring down there at a place called Porky's. And uh, she had never seen me before, and she got to see me. Her, my pop, and uh, my aunt all got, got to come out and see me for the first time. So it was really cool. And well, my aunt paid that. me probably the best compliment I've ever received as a stand-up comic. She's a, a very wealthy lady that travels around to, you know, the different uh, cruise lines all the time. And she's always seeing the cruise line comics. And uh, so she's been to plenty of shows. And she said that she, I surprised the crap out of her because she didn't figure I would be as good as I was. And right. she said that all my stuff, she goes, your, your material, your original, she goes, you were just great on stage. She loved it. And it was just like, wow, this is the lady that goes to shows all the time. Tell, tell me that. And uh, she, she's this kind of, that wouldn't bullshit me either. So This is kind of a shitty thing to happen to all of us. But uh, I saw that you were, you're, you've been getting the opportunity. You've been working hard, man. You're getting, yeah. you know, you're getting some of your up and comings. And I, I just think it just keeps getting better. It's, it can, you know, the... Uh, size of the rooms you do the uh, nothing's really different I guess to a degree but uh, I, I think the comedy clubs are going to come back hard. I hope so man. I think the I fact that they just got hit and suffered the ones that come back will come back hard. I hope uh, it's a second coming of like the, the 80s you know the 80s and 90s because uh, that, that, was, that was really stand-up comedy's heyday. I mean, there was so market much changed. work for us out there that you can Market always changes. Market always changes. 
you don't like if you don't like the weather today, give it a couple months and it'll uh you know what I mean, it'll be this or that and everything will be shuffled around and that seems to be the way it's always been. Yeah, no, totally. And uh I I'm pretty optimistic about it. I just it's the question mark of when are we gonna be able to get back to work, you know? Yeah, this uh pointless suspended animation thing ain't working for me. Um <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you just make yourself laugh again? <laughs> I make myself laugh all the time. I laugh at me more than anybody does. <laughs> oh, <you're always. laughs> That's great. Hey, hey, you know what goes good with the tank top? Deodorant. That's true. That's true. And a six pack, I thought. Yes. <laughs> Not since 1998. <laughs> so, uh, you got nothing planned? You're not going to work on anything during this whole... Uh, you know thing? what? I, there's just... I'm preparing. I am preparing uh, when when it does open up. I've got a game plan. Does Will it be successful? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope so. I've got a lot of return people that, you know what I mean, that we do a couple times a year, and they just started doing them more often during the year because we've been having a great time. Um, we were packing them in, at least having full houses, you know, pretty much anywhere I went. Um, doing really well. And then uh, this, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll, work, we'll work as hard as we've ever worked. And uh, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Just stay funny, you know, stay safe, stay funny. Yeah. You as far as working on anything, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous of you over here doing something. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you having me on, man. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool with you. Guys. No, man. I, I mean, of course. I, I you know, I got to reach out. I got to check on uh, people who, who I, you know, grew up with in this business and uh, respect. And I, I want to make sure that uh, everybody else gets a little bit of a, a time out here because we we all we all need it. We all need to talk. I mean, we've all been stuck, you know, either just by ourselves or talking to our significant others. And you know, I've been oh, married for two, two decades now. So I mean, our our marriage is. I mean, it doesn't hurt us at all. That we just we're we're used to being around each other and we we spent most of our lives together. So I mean, it's not a big deal to us. But we do pretty good. We do good. You know, I uh, I'm I'm blessed to have who I have in my life. Okay. That's for sure. So you know, we do pretty good. But, uh, so yeah, uh, if one of uh, the listeners wanted to look look you up and uh, check out like some of your stuff, or whatever, where could they go? I just hit me up on Facebook. That's Rob Wolfong. Um, yeah, because we're we're working on a website for a whole lot of things. That's one of the things I'm working on, uh, trying to get the videos through and that kind of thing. But what's bad about it? Do you have a website? I do. You do. Yeah. You bet it is. I don't know how I want to do it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Does that tell you why I don't have one yet? Well, I mean, you're you're a perfectionist. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go, well, my God, if you've seen my act, you know better than that. Um, <laughs> basically, every time I jump at it, I talk myself out of it. But uh, really, I should be a real comic someday. But we've done well without it. Um, yeah. But maybe we'll do a little better with it. And uh, yeah, things are going to get much better. Things are going to get much better. Absolutely, man. I, I, I fully believe that. I fully believe that uh, we're, we're going to come out of this and hopefully everything will be even better than it was. You uh, need a haircut. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we do that for you? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I won't let my wife touch my hair. No, I, I just go in the shower and I yell at it until it feels bad and leaves. <laughs> what I've been doing is when I do leave the house, I carry a violin case and tell everybody I'm with the Philharmonic. <laughs> yeah. How's that work? <laughs> That's what I do. That's then, I offer, then I offer them a Twizzler. <laughs> I have friends. Rob, man, this has been great, man. I really appreciate you doing this. Hey, thank you, sir. It's good to have somebody to talk to you. Absolutely, man. We'll do this again. You say it, but you don't know. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, for uh, Rob Wolfong, I'm Josh Hart. We'll see you guys next time.
Hey guys, I uh, hope you liked the video, and if, if you liked the, the show, make sure you throw a like down there somewhere. There should be a like, and uh, there's a subscribe button over here. And hit the bell. And hit the bell, yeah, ring the bell. And uh, you know, check us out, man. Stay in touch with us. We're always putting out videos every week, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, right? Right as a letter. Yeah, right as a brain. <laughs> right as the mail. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, it worked.